What if I told you God wants you to share His glory? Does that go against what you know? Welcome to the Shen Word Feed, your daily source of spiritual nourishment and biblical insights. I'm Dr. Patrick Oben, and I'm thrilled to guide you through inspiring devotionals and weekly Bible studies. Join us for life transforming experiences of Jesus in His Word through the wisdom and the power of the Spirit. Today, we'll be discussing a fascinating topic titled, Called Us Unto His Eternal Glory by Christ Jesus. And our scripture is taken from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10, King James Version. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto His eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered, a while make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Yes, a profound truth many Christians do not know. God has called us to share His glory. Though this is the highest gift of God's grace, many believers have a misconception about it. Many have heard and been taught not to share in God's glory which has created a major misunderstanding. In Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8, God says, And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. The context makes it clear. He will not share his praise with idols. He means he will not allow idols or people to take the praise that is due to him as God. We see this principle displayed in Acts chapter 12, verse 23, when the angel of God killed Herod because he gave not God the glory when the people called him a God. This has not changed. Even today, if a minister takes God's place in people's lives and receives praise for what God does, that minister is taking God's glory. And, of course, needless to say, that's a dangerous trend in many Christian circles today. But in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10, Peter unveils something different. He says, God has called us to his eternal glory to partake and share in it. Here's where rightly dividing the word helps us understand God's mind clearly. The key is recognizing the subtle differences in the meaning of glory in these two passages. In Christ, God has called us to share His glory. God's glory is God Himself, often in the context of manifestation. That's why light is a major metaphor for God's glory. Nothing is more perplexing in the New Testament then God has called us to share in his very nature, as in Second Peter chapter 1, from verse 3 to 4. Peter declares, According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue whereby are giving unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by this you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Whatever makes God God, he is giving it to us. How can our human words fully explain what this entails and what the future holds for us? In Christ. Christ in you is God in you, one with you. So we're the visible manifestations of the invisible God. As Christ was God in the flesh, we are Christ flesh and bones, the body of Christ, his visible expression to the world. This sharing of the divine nature, the experience of the divine life, and the expression of the invisible God manifesting Him encompass our call to glory. 
It has started here, but will be completed when God gives us a heavenly body that can fully express His glory. Meditate. Let your mind ponder upon these words. Please take a moment to think about what you just read. Reflect on each word in 1 Peter 5.10 in light of the devotional above. Apply the word. How can you put this truth to work in your life today? This devotional presents two obstacles. First, some might not understand it. And second, some might not believe it. Seek to receive this truth. But most importantly, let it change how you see yourself in love. Pray. Let's talk to the Father together. Dear Father, thank you for such a wonderful and precious gift in Christ, calling us into your eternal glory. Help us to understand and believe it and guide our lives by it every single day. Thank you for joining us today on the Shen Word Feed. We hope you felt refreshed as you nourished your heart with His Word and drank of His Spirit. Remember to subscribe and share, inviting others to partake in the richness of God's Word. Join us again tomorrow to see that the Father's table partaking in rich spiritual food.